Hey Xamarin developers, this is Xamarin Guys So 51 tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be basically talking about important aspect that is our internet status. When our internet gets disabled inside our application, then it will get navigated towards our new network page. And for our iOS Android as well as iOS, if our internet gets deactivated, then it gets navigated towards our my navigation page. And at the same time, when our internet is given, that is our mobile data as well as Wi-Fi, then we get navigated towards our internet access page. That is our main page where our Wi-Fi is enabled. That's all. In order to construct that project, we have to first of all go to File and then select New and then Project. Select a cross-platform app as we are building app for all three platform that is our windows android as well as ios after that select any name that you like and click on ok after that you can uh, give a shared project as well as a .NET standard project and then click on ok after that let us go to our solution explorer to verify that our device is connected with internet or not we have to add a connectivity plugin by going to browse i have already installed as xamarin plugin dot connectivity and installed inside my whole project you can install in it you can see over here this is my uwp as well as ios project i have already installed you have to install inside our whole application i will cross it for now now let us close it again go to solution explorer and then we have to add a platform specific permission for both android as well as windows here i'll be giving our access network state as well as wi-fi state permission for android and then for uwp i have to go to capabilities and then i have to give internet client as well as server permission for them that's all and for ios while building it we have to disable our internet from the host that's all let us create a new page that is our main page with wi-fi connection that is our main page is going to be connected with internet and let us give it a name as main page with network here images and resources are going to be platform specific that's why i will take the two images that are downloaded from google and drag and drop inside my resources drawable folder i have already placed over here and for our ios also inside our resources folder i will drag and drop inside it and for our uwb i will also insert place inside it it's the time to make a simple ui i'll cut this level and then i'll add image source with wi-fi.jpg this is my wi-fi.jpg that is placed inside my resources folder of android as well as a set of uwp and i'm giving a height a request of 80 and a width request of 80 so that it can accommodate it a uh, small size inside my horizontal as well as vertical stack layout which is placed at center now let us place a label above my image so that we can identify which page it is that's all now let us create a no network page which will be redirected when there is no connection that is our mobile as well as our wi-fi connection i will give it a name as no network page selecting a content page and that's all now let us rem get all that ui from here i'll copy it and then paste over here let us paste it that's all now let us give a different label name as i'll call that as no network i'll call that section also and let us give a different image so that it can be identified when we get it directed towards our no network page as no wifi.png format that's all for our android project now let us modify our code inside app.jaml.cs it is a code behind where we are going to initialize our application by using plugin.connectivity.abstraction as our namespace we are going to call cross connectivity.current is connected that is our main page if it is connected then it will be redirected towards our next page that is our new uh, main page with network or else it is going to be redirected towards our no network page 
that's all that's the meaning of our this whole line of code you have to consider that when your application is alive that is in start mode and your application is going to be disconnected at the middle then some event has to be handled at that time so that is called connectivity change I'll cross that and we have to handle that event also let us give a handler for it as handle connectivity code change now let us generate a method for that that is private void handle that connectivity that is going to be changed let us give a current page type for our main page so that we'll be using current page in order to validate now if your event is changed that is when Wi-Fi is connected as well as mobile data is connected and if your current page is not is equals to your main page with the network that is type of main page with network if it is not there then we should get redirected towards our main page with network because that event is changed and our Wi-Fi is as well as mobile data is connected or else if your event is not going to be changed that is connectivity doesn't get changed and your current page is not is equals to your no network page that is type of no network page then we should get navigated towards our no network page here we have to understand that multiple loop of main page should not happen that's all UWP project to work on you have to place asset in front of no wifi.png as well as asset slash wifi.png inside your network page in order to start your UWP project with image here you can see that my physical android device is not connected with network now I'll connect it with Wi-Fi it will take some time for getting navigated towards our network page okay it got navigated now let us disable our Wi-Fi inside our UWP project it gets navigated towards our no network page awesome that's all and it will be same for iOS project too that's all guys thank you for watching keep in touch for next tutorials